Yo, what's going on everybody? Pulsar, King's Choice. And today, uh, we've got the long-awaited state power event uh, for the Duke. So I had said in a previous video that when this Duke rolled around, I would uh, jump on here and show you guys kind of what it looks like to grow an account that's kind of big already and uh, makes it makes it a little bit more fun when you're, when you're in your items. So um, we'll go into that. Uh, obviously, the main objective from from a state power push would be just you're, you've saved all your items until this point uh, for the last month or however long it's been since the last state power um, to give you more items and uh, generate more I guess I should say generate more items uh, per the day um, whether it's charisma uh, with your troops or whether it's your grain leadership or just making you stronger with your strength um, whatever it is it's always fun to push it on state power and, and kind of let loose of that horde so anyway uh, we'll dive into it real quick here. Um, I'll show you guys kind of what I've already done, um, what I'm going to do, and uh, we'll go from there. So I've already pushed, let's see here, um, 58 mil power. Uh, so no, nothing too crazy. I have done enough to kind of cover the uh, state power daily uh, limited time quests and things like that. But uh, what I've done to get here is just use my decor. I had a few little uh, things for William sitting around, uh, something for Nicholas. Um, and maybe a few other little knights that I had gotten from the last event. And then I've used my auras, so I had some stuff to put into Frederick, um, some things to put in El Cid, and uh, maybe King Arthur as well. And then the last thing that I did was I went ahead and used like 400 edicts. So um, over here you can see, I think it was 400, yeah. So I've used 400 of my edicts. I've still got a few more left, probably wait until the end of the event to use them. Um, I haven't done that yet, so anyway... Uh, I would just like to say that, that typically with me, um, my my guideline is always to follow this roadmap here, uh, where I consider it a roadmap, it's a limited time quest. Um, I always take a peek at it over here on the side, see what it's got going on, um, and I kind of structure my events through that. So obviously I want to make sure I use my milk um, so that I could get all these free rewards. Um, not everybody's going to be able to put up 30 mil state power, but uh, as high as you can go on this, even if you only push a mill, you still get a free edict, um, a chance of some prestige here, or XP scrolls or whatever, plus some skill boost. Um, and again, it's just free rewards, so if you can push these things while they're up, uh, state power is always up, but these other things are not. Uh, marriages, I'll go ahead and top off that 20 by the end of the day. Like I said in a previous video, it gives you free gold. Uh, some XP books, which are a little bit less uh, relevant, but the gold is definitely relevant for everybody. Uh, silver consumption, I'll get this with you guys. Um, I'm going to push El Cid up to 500. Um, he's already diamond. I just need to push him up, so I'll cover that uh, quite a quite a bit uh, more. Um, edicts, I will use 1,000 by the end of the day. Uh, I won't do it with you guys on on here, but, um, but I will plan to push that probably tomorrow. Uh, Uncharted Waters, that, that's a little bit different, and then Gold is obviously a little bit different too. But you definitely want to hit as many of these as you can. It's free It's free edicts, um, free XP, free prestige. Um, again, I use it as a roadmap for my day. I usually use about 50 edicts a day um, just so that I can unlock these Talon XP scrolls basically daily. Um, so since the last State Power event, I've accumulated a little bit over 1,000 um, XP scrolls just by doing that. So anyway, anything you can do to kind of set your account up for success in the future is always kind of the goal. So anyway, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into my Knights and uh, we'll go ahead and hit El Cid here. I'm going to switch it to the upgrading 10. Uh, we'll go through this kind of quick. It'll take most of my silver away. It's about 1.3 total. Um, so this should drop to about 400 ish. Uh, I've already pushed a little bit, so let's go through here real quick. So I get about 8 million state power per upgrade, so this should be pretty good. All right, so upgraded that. Um, so we were at 58 before, jumped about 100. That's right. I don't know if it was quite that much, but yeah, so 141. Um, so we're sitting pretty good there. Uh, that was about 80, 80 mil uh, worth of state power there, 83 maybe. So that was fun. I uh, got that one knocked out. That was one of my goals there. So that, that's my fourth diamond. Uh, so now I have uh, what I what I wanted here with my four diamonds uh, hitting 500. That gives El Cid uh, 255 total attributes. I'm happy with that. I've still got some talent points I need to use, natural 
Um, I'll probably do that again. That'll be tomorrow, uh, tomorrow project. But the other thing I wanted to do real quick while you guys are here uh, was go into my Royal Garden, check out my lovers. Um, I plan on maxing my will, or sorry, my Nicholas um, here. I'm going to go ahead and get these all to 250. I might have to use a few ballroom invites. Um, so I'll show you guys how to do that in case you didn't know already what they did. I'm going to start with Porsche. Try to get my uh, William up as high as that I can. It won't be quite max. These these won't give me a ton of uh, a ton of levels here because they're not something that I level up on him. Um, he's he's not really a a major focus on the uh, intellect or the charisma, but um, I got him up to 240, so he's almost maxed. I might go ahead and max him as well. Um, let's switch into Nicholas. So these guys. Don't know if I'll have enough to quite max them, but should be a pretty decent push here. All right, sweet. So I did max. Um, so now I can start here. So these guys, um, I may save this until the next state power event because I'm not trying to win this one. Um, not that I'm trying to win a state power event ever, but uh, these will be a nice upgrade. Let's see how much they give me per. So about 500,000. Uh, per upgrade. I can do that several times. Um, it's pretty cheap. I have plenty of lover points coming in. So I'll save that for a later date. Um, I'm going to hit Madam real quick with a few of these here too, uh, just to boost her up a little bit. I haven't touched her in a little while. She's still growing on me. Um, and I'll finish it off with some of these. All right, good deal. I'll max that out. All right, so let me go ahead and hit Porsche with a few bar or yeah, Porsche with a few barroom invites here. Special guest, I'm gonna hit Porsche. I have 400. I'm not gonna use too many, but I might just stop at 20. And I will go ahead and if she goes beyond, so she should. Um, that that should be plenty enough to get her uh, maxed out here. Let's check. Lover relations. Won't quite max her out. Let me go ahead and use about 20 more <clears throat> in the ballroom here. Portia, go ahead and hit her with another 20. All right. Go into her lover relations. Go ahead and finish out William. And then whatever's left, I'm going to go ahead and use here at the bottom just so I can keep on growing my William up. He's. He deserves the love. So if you hold this down, you can do it on your phone or tablet or whatever you're playing on. Um, I might actually jump to first with this, to be honest. Not 100% sure, but it'll be a big, a big jump. Yeah, so I jumped 52 mil, if I read that right. I think I did. So yeah, so I'm sitting at 218. Like I said, it's not an event that I'm planning on pushing. Um, I, I do want to level up and continue to grow my account um, the, the only way to do that or the best time to do that is state power just because you're rewarded um, while you're doing it there's my silver consumption I was able to get uh, so that again gives me a few more edicts um, down here a few more books uh, the, the things that I plan to do tomorrow um, I may go ahead and take my I'm, I'm kind of in a stand still here I'm, I'm close to hitting VIP 11 so armor is very important to me right now um, I really could take my Charlemagne up to platinum uh, because I have been working on his talents. He's he's maxed out on this top one, the, the five star. And I'm not crazy on spending the, the talents on these two. I mean, I will, obviously, um, as he gets stronger, but it's not a bad time to look at taking him to platinum. I think I would benefit from the intellect um, and the silver gain there. So I may do that. Uh, I'm kind of, like I said, at a standstill on my equipment. Um, I only have one platinum set. It takes six to get to a diamond. And I know I have uh, Queen Christina coming up pretty soon. So don't know if I'm going to do that yet. But if I do, um, obviously you guys will see it in the future. Um, I do plan on, like I said, using what's left of my edicts to go ahead and hit the 1,000 rewards. I'm probably going to save these for a future talent event. Um, I will go ahead and dump these books. So you can see here I have... Quite a few of the 5,000 random XPs, um, a few of the 5,000 strength, um, intellect, leadership, and charisma. So I'll probably go ahead and dump all those, spread them into my lower knights. Um, I've already got a decor set waiting for um, for Queen Christina once she's ready. So I'll do all that in the future. 
Uh, for now, I'll probably hang tight on what I'm at. I'm a happy placing top five in this cross event. Um, our server's doing really well. Uh, we're, we're about 200 mil ahead of, of second place. Um, so as long as that doesn't get too close, I, I like to get these rewards for everybody in the server. It helps out just small growth um, and every small bit helps. So we'll see how tomorrow looks. May push some more, may not. Um, anyway, that's all I was gonna say. Um, as far as what I don't use, I, I told you guys what I did use by using the limited time quest. It's mainly just edicts on the day. Um, but what I never use prior to a state power event would be my silver, um, any of my talent XP scrolls, um, any of my negotiation points, my natural XP, uh, lover relation points, which you guys just saw me use, um, and then decor items I wait to put on, mainly just because they, they don't give a ton of state power off the get-go, but if you do hit one of these secrets uh, or this decoration levels and you get up to the, to the next level, uh, it does increase state power quite a bit. You can see I've jumped about 57 mil uh, ish state power and the next one uh, will, will be pretty big too it's 4,000 for each night that's not the biggest thing it's this charisma talent level by one so again just not trying to to jump any more state power than I need to on a daily basis um, but I do want to maximize my rewards so I do use the edicts daily and then it in turn gives me benefits that I can use like the XP scrolls like the books um, that I can use in future uh, state power events so all right, with that being said, that's everything I wanted to show you guys today. Just wanted to show you what it's like to level up on a on a naturally strong account. So I jumped, you know, within a couple minutes here, uh, 150 mil. I think that's pretty cool. Um, you'll get there too one day. Appreciate it. See ya.